Good evening and welcome to the show. It's time for Let's Talk. I hope you guys enjoyed last week on the show. It was our live episode and um, the calls, the text message, the WhatsApp chat just kept coming in, coming in, like the review, the feedback, everything was amazing and I was just like blown away. So I really appreciate that and um, I love you guys. I give you back all the love right back, right back to each and every one of you. But for those who called in, yes, those who um, texted and called in, some of you have come down to the office to pick your giveaways, but some of you are yet to pick up your giveaways. So if you know you called last week on the show and um, you answered a question, basically all those who called in got um, a giveaway. So please come to our studio address and pick up your giveaway. Also today on the show, we have another amazing topic for you and um something very very interesting something for every single one of you you know me now you know i got you covered <laughs> you know me the host with the most as always i'm your host and my name is peculiar easy i'll be taking this little break right now this very short break right now and um once i come back in kitchen will be in the studio with me so tell someone to tell another person that it's time for let's talk and we'll be right back Welcome back to the show. Yes, right now Nkechi is in the studio with me. Hello, Nkechi. Hi, Peculia. I mean, I'm so glad that we are taking today's topic and you know, I'm back. I'm glad to be back in the studio and I'm so, 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 so happy about our live show last week. Like it was really, really, really amazing, even beyond what we prepared for. And I'm so glad, you know, to have viewers like you call in and be a part of our success story. Thank you so much. Thank you. Yeah, looking amazing. I always look amazing. But thank you. The host with the most, so that mm, okay, it's this poetry time. Mm, you know, the vibe is of me right now. It's on me right now. Okay, guys. Um, today on the show we have an interesting topic for you. Yes. Once, by the way, um, let me just address the live show. We're going to be having more live show on the show on, on let's talk Absolutely, like subsequently yeah. we'll be giving you more live show bef before it's become a thing yeah so um get ready for some something very juicy something very spicy something very interesting we'll be giving you a live show this february so yay we'll give you more details when it's time for the live show but our topic we want to focus on today it's a new month yes we just entered the month of february and don't forget it's still 2020 a new year so we want you guys to feel good this 2020 and um, by the way valentine's day is coming it's february obviously so we want to talk about your skin your skin and your skincare we'll be bringing a professional very very soon like shortly after the break she's already in the house and she's looking so good like you need to see her skin guys because yeah. if we want to talk about skin we need to give you someone who you looks who looks the part like you're really going to enjoy this episode you are and um she's the founder of um chan and um don't worry let me not do anything let me just <laughs> give you our fun fact so we can go on a break and then our special guest for today's episode will join us in the studio so um in you'll be starting with your fun fact today yeah okay so today's fun fact says changes in your skin can sometimes signal changes in your overall health changes in your skin can sometimes signal changes in your overall health really interesting okay so my fun fact says your skin accounts for about 15 percent of your body weight i bet mm. you didn't know that mm -hmm. so um this is a new real fact that your skin mm. accounts for about 15 percent of your body mm -hmm. weight like mm -hmm. um we established before we said the fun facts we'll be giving you fun facts based on our topic for today so we'll give you something good and obviously we'll bring in a professional to now give you something better that's the idea of let's talk so um get ready we have um a cosmetologist a cosmetologist yeah 
Forgive me, guys. <laughs> a cosmetologist is here, yeah. and um, you know she has been trained um, on what she's about to do. Talk to us about. So, like I said, it's skincare, and we're going to focus on hyperpigmentation. When I come back from the break, I'll be telling you what hyperpigmentation means. So, viewers at home, do your research while we go on this short break <laughs> to introduce our guests. So, do stay with us. Let's talk with right back. Yes, I told you guys we're going to talk about skincare today, but we want to focus on a particular problem, which is hyperpigment hyperpigmentation. And right now, we have our amazing guest. She's looking so beautiful. Nancy is in the studio. She's the founder of Chun. <laughs> Welcome. Thank you so much. Thank you so much for having me. Thank you so much. <laughs> that's why we're that's talking about plan. skincare. Obviously, we're not going to bring someone with a poor skin. We're going to bring someone that's looking good and elegant as Nancy is today. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank How you. does it feel to be on Red Star? Uh, I'm so excited. It's always a pleasure talking about skincare. And, you know, she already asked me fantastic questions. <laughs> the show that she researched, I'm so happy to be here. So, um, where, where did you start and how long have you been doing this? Okay, so I started this because I had skin issues since I was a teenager. Um, oh, wow. So it has been a, it was first an issue and then it became me trying to solve problems for people who also have that issue. And then it became something I loved, I was passionate about. Fortunately, I went to school for, I mean, for this. I studied plant science and microbiology because of my passion for this. And I've also furthered and um, gotten a degree in cosmetic science oh, wow. and formulating science, yes. All right, guys, you see, I got you covered. There's a professional in the house, and she's on Let's Talk Show, only on Let's Talk Show, because we bring you the best of the best. Yeah, so like I said, we want to focus on hyperpigmentation on the show today. Let me just give you a brief definition of what that is. Hyperpigmentation is a common, unusual, harmless condition in which patches of the skin become darker in color than the normal surrounding skin. The melanin that melanin um, production is excess in that particular area, so it becomes darker. So some of you at home, you notice that some area probably of your face is darker, or your hands, your fingers, that area is darker. That's what we call hyperpigmentation, and that's what Nancy is here today to address. Yeah, um, so hyperpigmentation, hyperpigmentation is a major issue, and it's a major being for most people here in these parts. Hyperpigmentation has many types, however, will be discussing we'll be talking about um, three that are the major issues here that's sunburns that most women have and then spots spots from acne spots from breakouts um, liver spots and then the last one dark on the eye area most people have complained about that because of stress and then you know because we're here in these parts where we're hustling we're in Lagos um, everybody's stressed out most people are not getting enough sleep but we would have very poor self-care patterns and routines simply because there's no time. And then you're stuck on your laptop, um, trying to work all through the night, and then you're back again on the grind. So that's part of the reason why you have these issues with dark um, under eye areas. And then with spots, it really doesn't help. It's fantastic that we have um, a lot of sun here, but it doesn't quite help with spots because what happens is the sun yeah, the sun is great, but it dries out your skin and it tans your skin. So even when you're supposed to have a regular spot that should clear in two to three days, because you're staying out in the sun and you have poor self-care, where you're not using SPF, where you're not treating your skin at night time, there's no way your spots will not last for longer. And because you're tired and you're trying to get a boost, most of us just drink a lot of fizzy energy drinks. I'm not saying that they're bad, but they're not as helpful because sugar tends to um, increase the appearance of spots so what you're doing is you're extending the time frame for you to get healing for spots and then lastly the major one sunburn most people get sunburn 
so easily because of the sun. We also have another form that's hormonal, that's melasma. Most times this affects pregnant women or people who have um, hormonal imbalance. And so those are three areas we're going to be speaking on today. Now, the causes of these things, I've told you a bit, P poor self-care, poor diet, um, the wrong kind of skincare routines, or no skincare routines at all. At all. Yeah. Exactly. These things can cause it. Now, um, for treatments, treatments of sunburn, um, the treatments for sunburn is wear SPF. It's that simple. You need to begin to wear SPF. Without wearing SPF, you will not see any results from all the work you've done at, light, at night. Take, for instance, when you use your lotion or you use your cleanser at night and you feel, oh, I have smooth skin. It looks reasonably smooth. You wake up to clear skin. But what happens is that when you go out in the sun and then you have your whole day-to-day -day activity, you come back with some more breakouts and you're wondering, how did this happen? Yeah. My skin doesn't look as nice as it looked in the morning. It's simply because the sun has helped you degrade all that you work so it actually inhibits the effort and you know just reduces all the work that you've done the night before so please wear SPF and then what kind of skin actives are you using most times we're using skin treatments that are meant for Caucasian skin it's actually wrong when you're using skin treatments for Caucasian skin what happens is that you will get results that will not solve your issue for simplicity's sake you're saying that we're using skin treatment that the whites use right yes Make exactly exactly and weather. thank mm -hmm. you and so weather. you see that when someone is trying to clear spots they apply all these strange stuff on their face mm -hmm. that tends to even increase it like give you eczema for instance have you noticed when you're trying to clear a spot and you do it wrongly because you're doing self-treatment you apply spot treatment all over your face mm -hmm. and what happens is that um, it fades an area, but it now makes everywhere else lighter. Oh, so yeah, what happens? True. You don't see results, and you're telling you're telling um, yourself, oh, there's no results. This isn't working. It's not true. It's working. You just didn't apply properly because you self-treated, you self-medicated, and you know that's an issue we have. Okay, um, you're starting to explain <laughs> and analyze, and it's becoming super interesting. We have to take a short break to pay our bills, but viewers, don't touch that remote because we have more of this hot juice coming right after this break. Do stay with us. Let's talk. We'll be right back. This is still Let's Talk, and we still have our specialist Nancy in the studio. And already, my head is already going cuckoo, 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 <laughs> cuckoo, cuckoo with everything she's saying. Yes, um, um, from research, we uh -huh. understand there's hypopigmentation and there's hyperpigmentation. Please distinguish this so that the viewers at home will know which problem they have and which they are supposed to tackle. Okay, uh, so hypopigmentation is basically the opposite of hyperpigmentation. If, hypopigment, if hyperpigmentation is dark patches on the skin, we've established that then hypopigmentation is basically white patches around the perimeter of your face mm -hmm. and this is what you see um, in people who are battling with vitiligo or um, extreme cases of um, chronic eczema you see this in these people um, you have white areas white white dots on your face or it can even be in a larger surface area like with vitiligo um, that's just what hypopigmentation is Okay, um, so you were you kept talking about SPF when you were talking earlier. So can you help us you know, explain what that is? Okay, SPF is sun protective factor. Mm. Uh, sunscreen. Yes, basically sunscreen. So and how can it be gotten? In the okay, like? sunscreen is super important. People don't talk about sunscreen enough. Yeah. Now let me tell you why sunscreen is so important. There are two types of sun damage. We hear a lot about UVA and UVB filters. I mean UVB rays. Now the sun um, reflects UVB and UVA rays. UVA rays actually do not give sunburn as such. What they do is that they break down um, the how how um, ageless your skin is supposed to be. So it makes you age prematurely hmm. so when you see people who have wrinkles and who look older than their age 
that is what UVA, UVA rays cause. Mm. And UVA rays go past even glass. That's why it's funny when people are saying that, you know what, no, I'm always inside the office mm. and so I don't need sunscreen. It's really not true because UV, UVA rays will go past even glass. And then you have UVB rays that actually cause this sunburn and they go 97% to glass. So imagine glass is only protecting you by 3%. What kind of protection is that? Everybody, regardless of race, requires SPF. We are quite lucky here in these parts that me with melanin, you tend, to, you tend to protect yourself from sun rays, yeah, but you true. still have UVA. And that's the reason why most of us look stressed and aged. I'm telling you, we look so stressed and we look so tired and we look so it, it is uva to even add on whatever chemicals you're already using on your skin <laughs> exactly. because yeah, exactly. the white people use it yeah, exactly exactly it. exactly but there's this theory that the, um, the early morning sun is mm. a good kind of sun for your skin vitamin <coughs> e do you want to tell us about that yeah early morning sun is fantastic uh, but when you really really need that is when you're growing up and um, <laughs> none of us are five to ten years old <laughs> you know you. so <laughs> Yeah, there's a limit to what vitamin D can do for you. Vitamin D is great, uh, but that's early morning sun. And early morning sun is, say, from 7 to 9 o'clock. After that, you are basically in the full glare of Lagos sun. You okay, um, you've spoken a lot on um, the causes and all. How do we treat it and how do we prevent this okay, now? How you prevent it is by, first off, for me, it's really not just skincare, but it's about improving lifestyle. That's what I am, that's my passion and that is my um, purpose. In improving people's lifestyle and then changing culture. We need to start from home. We need to start from ourselves. So what do we do? What do we eat? What do we consume? Are you taking enough grains for your body to be able to fight off these things? The truth is that your body can heal itself of anything, but the truth is it needs to have ammunition to heal itself. Mm. Are you eating foods that just fuel your body and give you strength to go about boxing people and making money? Is that what it is about? Your body is all that you literally have. So you need to give it stuff that can also help it heal. Eat cucumbers, eat stuff with vitamin C, take your greens, drink water. The truth is that when you have eliminated all these other excesses, like taking sugars, processed sugars, and then excess rice even, it has so much sugar in it. We're, we're eating stuff that, you know, give us energy. That's great, but we also need to realize that it's not just one class of food we have. We have vitamins. We have proteins. People do not eat lentils anymore. People feel like it is funny for you to be eating beans. It is a funny lie because these things help to boost collagen production that also helps to heal your skin. So when people are talking about, oh, they had an issue and they're still trying to solve it after two months, yours is gone in a day or two. Mm -hmm. And that's what used to happen when we were younger. You know that we had bruises when we were younger. It wouldn't take long. Yes, you. Yes, you. And then even as girls, that's what we're going, we're always looking for. We're looking for that ageless youth that we had when we were 16 or 18 Very true. or 20, when our skins used to heal so, so quickly. So and glow. It was be Exactly. It was because our bodies had exactly what it needed to heal itself. Just give yourself that. Give your body that. Let's take, for instance, myself. Um, during Christmas, you know, I let my guard down and then I started to take sugar i took some i took some drinks because i went i went out etc and then i realized that i started having pain you know i used to have that pain previously years and years ago but it all came back i couldn't move my legs well i just realized that uh, the strength i used to have before i had to now start looking to take coffee stuff i never used to do it was simply because i had reduced my immunity because i wasn't eating right so before we start with skincare at all let's help our bodies heal itself okay um, because of time we've mm -hmm. established eating right what are the okay and then next spf lastly make sure that you're using skin actives there's super foods that you can use you can use skin actives that have vitamin c to clear out spots so long as you're using vitamin c with spf your skin will get clear and there will be no issues vitamin b3 as well it helps with aging. It's also called niacinamide. That's what people most times put in these products and they call it big name. 
But I mean, beach it has some sunscreen too in it, oh, right? Yes, yes. It helps to protect from the sun, damage from the sun. Okay. So niacinamide is great. Another thing that you can use is our boutine. Our boutine, however, needs to be used, needs to be prescribed by a cosmetologist or okay. a dermatologist. With these three, there is no spot for no sunburn or no hyperpigmentation. Just to ask for um, viewers at home watching, like, um, especially those that have so many pimples and acne, they say some are natural. How true is that? That your face needs to go through that? You don't need to use so many... Um, your age range. Yes. So How true uh, is that? You hear so many people say hear things like that. It's natural because of your lifestyle. Mm. It's natural because of your lifestyle. It depends on what you're doing. So yes, everybody goes through a phase where they have um, their bodies just, you know, growing and then bringing out breakouts. But it doesn't have to last as long as it does okay. if you're eating right. So take for instance someone who has proper self-care routines and washes their face in, in youth that eats right and also washes their face and cleanses and sleeps on clean pillows and doesn't um, leave makeup on. Your skin is going to be clearer than your second that doesn't do the same thing. So yes, it's natural. Sometimes it's genetic as well. Some people inherit this because of their own DNA and the stuff that they have going on inside. But it can also be quicker and you can change and switch DNA by improving lifestyle. All right, Nancy. All right. Um, this has been a very, very informative episode and I just really like the way she was just drawing <laughs> up the points. Like she knew that, oh, okay, I'm in time. I need to drop on okay. my points. <laughs> right, exactly. <laughs> but I also, um, before we wrap up, um, you have to give a word of advice, look at the camera and advise our viewers with skin problem and mm. also people under exaggerate the importance of drinking water mm. for their skin. I think mm. you need to address that. Yes. And I was words. going to ask you as you're also addressing as well that you were talking about fizzy drinks. So what other alternatives do people have apart from um, you know, water because mm. some people will say, okay, I don't just want to drink okay, it. <laughs> take fresh fruit juice mm. and then take one, take the ones that do not have so much sugar. V watermelon is fantastic, it tastes amazing, it's an aphrodisiac, it is refreshing, and it does not have as much sugar as, say, pineapple. So, choose wisely, begin to drink water, it will help you so much. Wear SPF and then make sure you cleanse properly. If there's anything I can tell anyone here, please do not just do one cleanse. Most times we're doing one cleanse. Ensure that you begin to do a double cleanse. It will reduce the amount of dirt that stays on your skin and heaps up as dead skin cells. If there's anything I can tell you, it will be that. Cleanse properly and then ask for a proper cosmetologist to give you directives and directions to improve your lifestyle. Once you improve your lifestyle, you will never be dependent on a product ever again. All right, thank uh, you so much, Nancy. I'm definitely bringing you back for a part <laughs> two of this. Um, Nkechi, um, you're not giving us any last words, sorry. What? Sorry. Yeah, I had to um, give my last word. Okay. <laughs> one minute. One so, minute. Yeah, so, I mean, just make, remember what Nancy said about your body needing ammunition to mm. actually heal itself. So, beyond the external, make sure that you're also eating rightly. Mm. Okay. I'll tell them to switch off your mic. <laughs> <laughs> All right, um, viewers, um, you have skin problems that you feel Nancy didn't tackle please send it to our whatsapp number right now it's showing on the screen drop it and i will forward these messages to her and she will give a befitting reply for your skin okay follow us at charm beauty at charm beauty i'll answer all your questions via the you're definitely going to pay for that nasty <laughs> <laughs> thank you so much i'll be seeing you all same time next week bye bye take care